Hey guys, it's Michaela. It's been a long time since I've done a video, but I'm so excited about this one. So this is one of the coolest hair hacks I think I have ever tried, and I love it. <laughs> and so I'm really excited to share with um, it with you all. It's not mine, I didn't come up with it. It's actually um, a trend that started on TikTok. It's called TikTok bathrobe curls, um, or at least that's what it's being called. Um, and I love it and I highly recommend trying it at least once just to see if it works with your hair type and texture. So I'm going to show you how I do mine. Um, before I tell you, I'm going to show you what I use and then um, I'm going to tell you a couple things that I've noticed in doing it. So first off, this is the this is bathrobe curls right here. So I have long hair and I have a lot of hair and I was pretty skeptical that this was going to work because when I curl my hair with heat, um, it tends to just kind of fall straight after a couple hours. Um, so I have to use a really small barrel just because my hair is thick and heavy, but it's also a silky texture, um, which sounds nice, but it actually makes it really hard to do anything with heat or a lot of styling products because um, it just kind of falls out. It doesn't have a lot of grip or hold to it. So I was skeptical, but this is, um, I used zero heat on my hair right now. So, um, and I actually did um, Pilates this morning for half an hour, put it up in a bun, and this is just what happened afterwards, um, after having bathrobe curls overnight. So um, this is awesome for me. I really like it. I think that if you are someone who curls your hair every day with heat, um, you might not love bathrobe curls because they're not perfect. They're, um, sometimes you'll get a weird bend here and there. I didn't care to fix anything with, um, with heat. You could very easily do this overnight. Um, and if there are some pieces that are kind of weird, like this is kind of a weird, like I would, might curl a couple pieces in here. Um, you could curl a couple with heat and call it good, but you're massively reducing the time it takes to curl all of your hair. Um, reducing a lot of that damage, which is awesome. Um, if you're someone like me who never puts heat on their hair unless it's for a very special occasion because it takes a million years or you don't want the damage um, or you just don't have time in the morning, I love bathrobe curls because they um, are pretty close to the real thing, <laughs> I would say, meaning like a heat curl. Um, and so you can get, get pretty good curl with, it takes about five minutes before bed. Um, so yeah, the other thing is for my hair, again, um, I have a certain hair texture. It might work better for yours, but I noticed that um, when I do the curls right after I've showered, first off, I can't have wet hair. I need damp hair. Um, my hair, if I do it wet, it just wouldn't dry. So in time to, to hold a curl. So for me, I, I need to have damp hair. You could try it for yourself, damp hair versus um, hair like right after a shower. Um, the other thing is I noticed that my curls get better and better the further I go. Um, so what I mean by that is I try not to shampoo my hair more than twice a week. Um, if you are someone who shampoos your hair a lot, you might have different results. Um, if I do the bathrobe curls after having sh shampooed my hair that day and then I do it and sleep on it, the next day my curls are okay, but it kind of loses um, some of the hold. It doesn't have enough grip in it yet. So this is day two hair for me, um, or I guess day three technically after I showered, um, but the second time doing the curls and it's a lot better. So um, I think, and I think it'll be even better tomorrow. So for me, it gets better if I, um, if I wait several days before uh, showering again and do it so you can try a couple different things. So here's what you need to do bathrobe curls. A bathrobe! You only need the belt, you don't actually need your whole bathrobe, so <laughs> they're not actual bathrobe curls. So you need this. Um, you could actually do it in two ways. I am doing it a certain way because again my hair doesn't hold curls super well. Um, so what, you do, what you'll do, and I have a video and I'll show you, but you're going to put it on your hair like this and then wrap your hair around it. But if you have shorter hair, or hair that is thinner, or hair that holds curl really well, here is what I'd recommend doing. Take your bathrobe, match to the ends and then fold it in half again and then do this and then wrap your hair around it, okay? That will give you a bigger, looser curl. You'll find, especially depending on your hair length and texture, um, when you do bathrobe curls, it actually gives you a very tight curl. So I need that for my hair because otherwise it'll just fall out, but you might find that doubling the bathrobe is a way better idea for you. So keep that in mind. The other thing you'll need, of course, is a brush. You need to have your hair brush out before you do this. If not, you will get weird kinks in your hair and you don't want that. So brush your hair out first. 
I also find it helpful to have a clip kind of like this. You could probably use a bobby pin or something else um, so that when I have my hair on one side, I can clip this in place and then do this side. So having a clip is pretty helpful. The other thing you'll need are two hair ties. You wanna tie uh, your hair at the end and you'll see in the video in just a minute. So you need two hair ties. And then again, I, I personally don't recommend doing this on wet hair. I think damp hair is better. So this is just a spray bottle with water. There is no product in here. My hair also has no product in it right now. This is just, this is straight bathrobe right here. So <laughs> I recommend having some water on hand that you can spray on your hair to make it damp, um, just so that you get a better curl in your hair. So with that, I'm so excited for you to try it. Um, let me know, comment below, tell me if it works for you. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, marigold.hair.design. I would love to see your picture so you can send me a DM on Instagram. Okay, good luck. First thing you wanna do is part your hair where you normally part your hair. Then brush your hair forward slightly at an angle. This will help the curl to curl better. I like to use water to dampen my hair. I can't have my hair completely wet. Then take your bathrobe and split it in half, clipping one side. Then you're gonna start curling your hair around the bathrobe, kind of like a French braid, but much, much simpler. Make sure your hair is perfectly smooth before you start wrapping your hair around the bathrobe. Make the first wrap around the bathrobe, curling away from the face. As you come towards the front, Grab some more hair like you're doing a French braid and continue wrapping. Again, grab some more hair and then wrap your hair around the bathrobe away from your face. I only do about four curls or four wraps around and then the rest of my hair I just wrap simply around the bathrobe. Once you reach the end, secure your ends with a hair tie. You'll repeat this process on the other side. I like to spray again with water to make sure my hair is perfectly damp. Bring all your hair forward, brushing at a slight angle towards your face. Spray with water to dampen your hair. Make sure you get your ends, especially if you have layers. It'll help the curl stay together. Bring the bathrobe to the other side, grabbing some hair to wrap around. I like to grab enough hair that the wrap or the curl starts around where my eye meets my face. If you curl too, too far up towards your part, your curl will turn out more like a Shirley Temple curl and that's not really the style I'm going for. Again, try and wrap the hair around the bathrobe away from your face. Finish the wrap and secure with a hair tie. You can leave it like this when you go to bed, but I like to wrap the ends completely together around my head just to make sure that they stay secure. I always spray with water before I do so as well. I take each end and wrap it around my head kind of like a crown and then I like to just tie the ends together. Sometimes I'll put one under the bathrobe on top of my head to make sure it stays secure and doesn't fall off when I'm sleeping. Even if it does fall off while you're sleeping though, it should still keep your curl just fine. Tie the ends in a knot, and then you're good to go. You're ready for bed. Sleep on it just as it is, and then in the morning, you'll take it out. Untie the bathrobe. Carefully unsecure the hair ties that you put at the bottom, and then begin unwrapping your curl. I've said this before, but I really think that the curl gets better the more you do it. So this is day one for me after having hair that's straight out of a shower. The next day, the third day, even the fourth day I, that I do this in a row, my curls get much, much better and more like I would get a normal curl if I was using heat. The first day is pretty good curl, but again, it's not my favorite. So I think you'll find that the more you do this, the better and better your curls will come out. At this point, you can definitely use some heat to add in some more perfect pieces because you'll notice that it's not a perfect curl, but I don't really care right now, so I'm just gonna leave it as is, curling a couple of pieces with my hands. I might also use a little bit of product or hairspray to keep the curl, but sometimes I just leave it as is and call it a day, so you can decide what works best for you.